Hello, happy Friday, and welcome to Up to Speed Live. I'm Diana Alvear. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be short and sweet with an emphasis on sweet. All right, so first, let's start with a quick reminder that next Tuesday is a big one. We've got our fourth quarter webcast with Hans and the rest of the leadership team right here on Up to Speed Live at 12 noon Eastern. And we're going to be celebrating, let's see this slide, by giving away Samsung Galaxy S21 5G devices. How awesome is that? So how do you win? You have to watch Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern and you can win. All right, so let's move on to the news of the day. And we're gonna start off with Verizon Business Group making some big moves, big news. We are proud to announce a new partnership with Unity. Now they're a leader in the real-time 3D space and together we're gonna to enable new digital experiences ranging from entertainment apps to enterprise toolkits using 5G, mech, and of course, real-time 3D technology. Now this is a game changer for gaming, retail, and sports. Think about it, you've got instant content, faster speeds, higher bandwidth, and of course that ultra low latency. So really great partnership right there. And also Verizon Business is delivering managed network services or otherwise known as network as a service to more than 450 hub offices in the US and Canada. So Verizon is going to be transforming their infrastructure into a multi-use network. So they're gonna allow hub to do what they do best and focus on their business of providing benefits, business and personal insurance products and services. Last week, Verizon Ventures also had some big news of their own. Always cool to see what they're up to. So they're announcing an investment in two companies, Shot Tracker and Vidu. Let's talk about Shot Tracker first. They bring elite level statistics to the court. So their technology leverages sensors and benefits from 5G and MEC to provide valuable basketball gameplay data and analytics in real time. Like you are gonna know exactly what's happening right there on the court in real time, so cool. And Vidu also making some big moves. They're helping with AI-based security that's gonna help monitor vulnerabilities in IoT devices or otherwise known as Internet of Things. Okay, so now for the news that always fills my heart. I know it fills yours. The good news for everybody. Let's start with the Windy City. That is the latest in our Food for Frontline Workers campaign. We've got Verizon teaming up recently with the Chicago Bears, Dub Bears, including mascot Staley De Bear. And we've got some pictures to show of that to deliver some special meals to frontline healthcare workers at the Jesse Brown VA Medical Center in Chicago. Former Bears defensive back Jerry Azuma recorded a thank you message to staffers who feasted on sandwiches from local restaurant Just Sandwiches. And really cool to note that that restaurant owner, military veteran Karen Roberts, used to work at that very medical center. Always really nice to see everything come full circle. I wanna give you some really impressive statistics about our Food for Frontline Workers program because they are really making such a difference. So this program kicked off back in April, right after the start of the pandemic and check this out. So far, they have delivered more than 150,000 meals to our frontline workers in cities across the U.S. It has done so well and made so much of an impact that it is now in its second phase. And we're also going to have events in L.A., Omaha, Sioux Falls, Milwaukee, and Minneapolis. So I love to see us recognizing our frontline heroes. This is making a huge difference. Thanks to everybody who's had something to do with that program. All right, so we're gonna head down to the Sunshine State now where we're doing even more good things. We partnered with Tampa Bay, Feeding Tampa Bay rather, to help provide meals to families facing hunger due to the COVID-19 crisis. This has been such a struggle throughout the country. Well, here, as you see, they created a mega pantry at our Hillsborough Avenue call center that's where they can serve thousands of families at a time with 175,000 pounds of food. And by using our Hillsborough call center, Verizon and Feeding Tampa Bay are able to reduce the travel time and the distance for those in need of reaching a food pantry. And these days that makes all the difference. Anything we can do to help a neighbor, we need to do. And we're so proud of our partnership down there in Tampa Bay. Finally, I love shouting out people making a difference in particular. Our thanks and gratitude to a sales rep in Plain, uh, Plainwell, Michigan, who went above and beyond the call of duty. And we know because the customer was so impressed, she tweeted about it. Check this out. 
So according to Denise, not only did Damien provide stellar customer service, he also rushed outside when he witnessed a hit and run, checked on the victim, and even snapped a pic of the car's license plate that caused the accident. So thank you so much, Denise, for letting us know about his good deeds. And by the way, Damien will soon be promoted to manager, we hear. So very good move on their part. And thank you, Damien, for being a really good person. We love to shout excellent V-teamers out there. We're also going to shout out the Verizon response team. They get a lot of love on this show and for a very good reason, because they do flawless work. And check this out. The inauguration was no different. Our thanks to them for making everything connect so well. It was a historic day. I am always so impressed with this team. I actually get to sit on on these crisis call, calls and they just do such good work. And we applaud their dedication to keeping us connected during historic moments. All right, so one more congratulations. We're going to congratulate Dylan McGee for making InStyle Magazine's list of 50 women to watch in 2021. Now, she is the filmmaker. You see her on the right there behind the documentary Not Done, Women Remaking America. And she's also the founder of Makers, a platform to support the women's movement. So this is one impactful woman, and we are so excited to offer her congratulations. All right, back out here live. Just a quick reminder to you, I know this went by so fast, right? So Monday, big day, we're going to be live with Andy, my friend, and you want to tune in, give us about five minutes because we have a fun financial quiz, emphasis on the fun. Why are we doing a quiz? Because you get to win cool stuff. And the only way that you get to win is by watching live on Monday, okay? Live, live, live. You can't miss it. And then again, you're not going to want to miss our show on Tuesday. Of course, we know January 26th, we are going to be live at 12 p.m. with Hans and the rest of our leadership team for the fourth quarter results webcast. Always a big day. And remember, we told you you could win big that day. It's a Samsung Galaxy S21 5G device up for grabs. Oh, yeah. So Monday, Tuesday, make sure that you watch. Thank you so much for watching today. And on a personal note, I just hope we can all keep Hank Aaron and his family in our hearts, rest in power, home run king. I'm Diana Alvear. Thank you so much for watching today. Please have a safe and fun weekend. I hope you spend it doing things with the ones you love. And until next time, you're up to speed.